Hello, welcome to Fighters Only TV. I'm John Joe Regan. I'm here with Terry Etting from Cowboy Gym in Liverpool. Um, Terry, we've not seen you for quite a while. Where have you been hiding? Tell me about it, John. It's been a very long time. I've uh, been out with a rib injury, which is reoccurring as well. You see, so when I've when I've come back and then it's bust again, which has been you know it's been a proper pain in the ass to be honest. But I'm back now and ready to go. Cool. You last uh, your last fight was. Dos Anjos, Abu Dhabi, 112, long, long time ago. So, ring rust, is it a factor? How do you deal with it? It's not going to be, you know, loads of people are saying the same thing. Is it going to be a factor? It's not going to be a factor. You know, it's not going to be a factor. I've been in the gym, I've done thousands of rounds sparring. I'm having hard spars day in, day out. You know, I'm super fit, super sharp. And also, you know what, right? I've seen one of his fights, and on on one record, I've seen his seven, seven and two, and then I've seen his two and two. I've seen different ones, but you know, I'm not going, I'm not going to go by any records, and I'm not going to go off any of that at all. You know, he's in the UFC, so he's obviously coming to fight. He's going to be a tough opponent. You know, you can never take someone like John, and I'm going to take this as a very tough test. Obviously, I'm very confident that that I'm going to win the fight. Which is what I was just going to ask you because I'd imagine sometimes the temptation. I know you're a hard worker in the gym, but some guys like we saw last weekend, um, you know, Tyson Griffin didn't seem like he took. Bart Palazewski seriously and then we saw that ended up but obviously you've not taken it lightly at all. You know, I'd never take an opponent lightly. You know, there's no easy fight in the UFC. Everyone's coming to fight and everyone's coming to win. You know, he he's had one in the UFC and and he's being beat. So obviously this fight he's not gonna want to get beat. The divisions that's starting that you know, it's very cutthroat. You know, you can lose and and you can be out the door. So he knows that himself and he's obviously gonna come to fight and he's gonna fight hard. So back when you were fighting regular, um, a long, long time ago now. Stop in a little bit. Uh, back when you were fighting regular, uh, a long while ago, um, you were getting a lot of praise from a lot of people, including Joe Rogan, who's yeah. watched a million fights and knows what he's talking about. He actually compared you to Anderson Silva at one point, the Scouse Silva, um, and he thought you were destined for big things. So now you're healthy, you're back. You've got this fight on Saturday. What's the what's the plan? You looking to get busy? Yeah, of course. You know, I've got to get back in there, and I've got to start. You know, I've got to fight regular. And I want to get the same momentum again, and I want to prove to the fans, I want to prove to the UFC, you know, I'm back. I want to come back with a bang, and it's going to start on Saturday night. I'm ready, ready to go. Training's good and sharp, you know. Saturday night, coming back, long way off. You know, you want to get your career started again. Um, you're coming off a loss. Is the temptation be a little bit cautious? You know, make sure you get the win, or go out there and try and make a statement at him's back. Is that even a question? Make a statement is not even a question, you know. I don't fight to just win, you know what I mean? I fight to finish I fight to finish fights. I'm fight and definitely this fight, I'm fighting to prove a statement to the UFC, to the fans, to every single person, you know. When you're out for a long time and people start forgetting about you, you know, oh yeah, it was it was it was ages ago when you won and stuff like that, you know. I'm back now and I wanna to prove to every single person Saturday night. No ring rush, nothing like that. Hundred percent, you know, better than ever. Playing the winner by tap out due to a dark choke, Terry! Hey, you sit on my laptop all day, nice one. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Just when I started He was speak. like chewing on something, oh, man. Yeah. That was a bad one, man. I'm glad that thing's rolling the whole time. This is just going to be entertaining. Don't mind yeah. that British studio audience. That yeah. might end up on the cutting room floor, that one. Uh.